How you guys doing? I got a treat for you today. Set number 75296 retailed at a rather pricey $70, which is due to it being a display set. It released in 2021 with 663 pieces. It has one instruction manual with a nice description of the set to sort of give it like a premium experience. The first minifigure is General Veers, who has no dual molded legs, which is a bummer. The torso has his ranking as general, which is very nice, and I like that you can see the creases in the cloth as it goes to the belt. I can't really say it really looks like the actor. I feel like he has more of a sharper chin, which should have been included. The cab mold is really nice with the small metal pin in the middle, and in the back, nothing special. The man himself, Darth Vader. A very lovely figure who used to not have arm printing in the older sets, but I love those silver lines on the arms. I have a theory that LEGO will eventually give them side leg printing so that we buy more sets. And ignoring my conspiracy theory, the printing from the torso connects well with the lines on the legs. The helmet molds that connect together is always satisfying and fully sealed where you can't even see the head. Inside he has his slightly happy face from that throne room playset. Would have liked to see an angry expression though and some scars on the back which is a nice touch. Now on to the set. Right away, this thing is definitely made as a display piece with its large base and barely any visible studs except for the clever snot technique to pose general veers. You almost can't tell it's Lego from the bottom with all the tile. The angles they were able to get are very impressive and it's very circular which is hard with a brick system. The display plaque is a print which is always awesome and on the side of the display it uses the silver 1x2 piece which really adds to the quality rather than just getting like a plain gray piece. And in the back, a clip to store Vader's lightsaber. I wish they had a place to store his cape because if we look inside the chamber, his cape gets bent, so I suggest that you take it out not to wrinkle it. His seat has three curved pieces and an opening for Vader to walk out of. It can also swivel, which looks really clean as there's no gaps to the control panel. With the high price and the printed plaque, it would have been nice to get more prints, but the stickers here still look good. I like how there's a combo of tile and stud white pieces on the inside to sort of give the wall some depth. And if you want to grab Vader or have him talk to Veers, these wall pieces can bend out for a different view. Doing this also gives you a better view of his TV, but I'm sure there's a better name for that. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of the set. I love how they took it from the scene where Vader's choking Admiral Ozzel, with Captain Piet to take his place from the film Empire Strikes Back. The screen has black corners making it narrow, and good that they didn't have you put the sticker on the window piece, something that the LEGO Star Wars X-Wing UCS fans from the good old days would definitely not like. It also has a genius play feature where you can lower the ceiling by slightly pushing up to release this ball lock, and push down, and when you lock it, simply pull away, and the torque uses the weight as the force, at the end of the radial arm to hold it in place. And it kind of reminds me of a similar design in <laughs> everyone's favorite set, the BB-8 ATST set, with that lifting mechanism. When it locks, it's so satisfying as it locks with little effort on your part when you expect it to fall. If you ever see it at a bricks and minifig store or your friend has it, I suggest you try it out. It's a really cool mechanism. It covers up the inside pretty well and I don't expect it to close perfectly. The red lights help give the set some color contrast. The ceiling has this build which is implied to hold Vader's helmet, but it does not actually work, which is surprising. Because this was done with the rubber pieces in the Darth Vader transformation set in 2017, and it worked really well. So I decided to build a custom version based off that set, and I think it does the job really well, and wish they included it. The set is also very light to carry, despite the amount of area that it takes up, and this is due to it being relatively hollow on the inside. I think the set's really cool and its display presence is just remarkable. That $70 price point is a little high, but I think it's great if you really want your collection to stand out, as the set's just so unique and it flies under the radar for most fans. I mean, I kind of forgot about it until a while ago. It's just kind of a cool niche set, I think. Also guys, we got to 100 subs. Woo woo! Uh, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to be posting a special video for the 100 subs, so be on the lookout for that. Anyways, thanks for watching and take care.